Right now, legal trouble in Douglas County as a new lawsuit alleges the school board broke state law and how they fired Superintendent Corey Wise. Mountains reporter John Glasgow is live in Castle Rock at school district headquarters for us this morning. John, at the center of this is open meetings law. Yeah, the lawsuit alleges that four school board members, they met privately to discuss ousting Superintendent Corey Wise. Now, under the Colorado Open Meeting Law, they are required to give public notice and access to those types of meetings. So in those private conversations, the newly elected board members are believed to have given Wise an ultimatum, resign or be fired. Now, if that happened, those one-on-one -on -one discussions, the suit alleges violated the Colorado Open Meeting Law. The suit was filed before the Douglas County School Board held their special meeting to vote Wise out of his position last Friday night. Now, Doug Coe School Board President Mike Peterson appeared on KOA yesterday saying that the superintendent was fired in part for not refuting rumors that the board had gutted Doug Coe's equity policy or standing up to the teachers union that does not have collective bargaining power. So the Colorado open meeting law doesn't carry much weight. So with this lawsuit, uh, the board members will likely not face any fines or penalties. But Corey, this potentially could make some changes going forward with the Doug Coe School Board. All right, John, thank you. Now, since the firing of Wise, the district says three school teachers have resigned. There are 3,500 teachers in the district, though. Those outraged by the board's move are already throwing the word recall around. An online petition has more than 22,000 signatures. Under state law, you can't recall someone until they've served in their elected role for six months. It would take 15,000 signatures from registered voters in Doug Coe to even begin the recall process against any of these school board members. And if that effort was successful, it would likely mean the recall would be on the November ballot.